Hey, what is going on guys? Today's video we're going to talk about Demon Slayer and will it be coming to PS5? So as you guys know, Demon Slayer was announced, or Demon Slayer the PS4, as many people say, or I'm just going to call it Demon Slayer a video game. It was announced about a month ago, and as you guys know, it's it was called Demon Slayer PS4. Uh, so that kind of indicated it was going to be a PS4 exclusive. A lot of people were kind of like, because a lot of people understood it and a lot of people didn't understand it. But the thing is, guys, let me explain why it's an exclusive and why I think it's going to be an exclusive for uh, the PS4 and the PS5. Um, if you guys don't know, Aniplex, it is owned by Sony. So it would make sense for that. And CyberConnect, uh, what they, it, it, you kind of, if you see CyberConnect the way their relationship is with PlayStation, they, they kind of, I guess you can say, favor, uh, favor PlayStation a little bit more in a way. So again, and also the fact that Aniplex is the one who gives off most of the shots and really uh, says what it is for the anime itself for Demon Slayer. Uh, it, it kind of makes sense why Sony would make it an exclusive for their platform. Do I think it'll be a time exclusive? I bet you it will be a time exclusive as well. Uh, I think Cyber Connect might work that out with Sony, but I don't really know 100% because we don't have that much inter information at the time being. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys and pretty much confirming with a lot of you. I got a few questions on Twitter. I remember I, when I posted this, there was a lot of random people, but I thought I may as well make a video on it. So uh, Demon Slayer coming to PS5 as well. Yes, in my opinion, I believe it will come out to PS5. Uh, the reason why I say that is because these next-gen consoles they should be out by that time. Hopefully, nothing really delays them. The pandemic doesn't do, does, will not have an effect. That hopefully it will not. But um, seeing as it is 2021, this game is supposed to come out 2021, and you'd be surprised, like, oh, it's gonna be. I mean, I'm not surprised that it'll be a PS4 game as well because remember, uh, when a when a new console comes out. Uh, whether it was for the PS4 to PS3, there were still games being supported. As you guys remember, is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1. It came out for PS3, came out for PS4, came out for 360, came out for Xbox One. So it kind of just shows that they will support, you know, uh, those consoles. But again, that was Bandai that was publishing the game for them. But it was Bandai who made the game. But it was uh, it was a few other studios that are working on the game as well. But at the end of the day, uh, it, there it was it was a cross in title. So I believe this game will be a cross in title with PS4 and PS5. Now, here's the big thing where people are like, oh, why would that matter when the PS5 is, is going to be technically backwards compatible and it's a new game, meaning that they already have it down and it'll be ready. Now, guys, that could be an option where CyberConnect will be relying on that as well, uh, where they'll try to where they'll rely on the backwards compatibility, meaning that when you have the PS4 copy, you can just put in the PS4 disc and there'll be like there'll be a day one update that'll pretty much enhance it and uh you know make it run a lot more smoothly a little bit it'll look a little bit more better that's what i believe will do as well but in my opinion the way i see it is is because like i've seen this before and it wouldn't be out it, it just wouldn't be uh surprising if they didn't have a, a, a if they were to have a ps5 version of this game as well a ps5 copy version like a digital and physical version uh, it just it wouldn't be a surprise to me because again that's just how it works but i believe it might be cheaper than the ps4 when the here's what i believe I believe the base game is going to come out and then it'll have a ps5 version and ps4 version so it'll have two versions and uh at the end of the day i think it'll still be a little confusing uh the way it is because they're going to think only the ps4 is, is back or the ps5 is backwards compatible is backwards compatible and it really wouldn't make sense for them to buy the ps5 version or the ps4 version so you know at the end of the day it, it will have to see what they do but i, I am banking on they probably will be uh, doing they might even they might just take advantage of the of the backwards compatible version of it so they won't even have to make a ps5 version but in my opinion i believe they will make a ps5 version of this game uh where you will be able to buy a separate ps5 version uh at the end of the day i believe that'll work but if they do make it i hope they make it a little more cheaper because like you know uh, or if anything i hope the demons are a game because since it is going to be a cross in title and that's one thing i want to uh reassure is that since these games are being crossed in title, they should be at least cheaper. Not cheaper, but, you know, I guess you can say if, if Demon Slayer, it's going to be just a Demon Slayer where it's going to follow the full, uh, the story of when, uh, from the anime where it starts and ends. If it's following the anime route, not the manga route where it's going to go all that far, which again is not going to be the case. If they do end up doing that, that'll be sick, but I believe that's going to be DLC they plan for the game later on. But I believe it's going to plan on from, uh, this story, it's going to take place from episode one from when the anime started and it's going to end from where the anime ended for uh season one and a lot of you know already already know how the season like i said the season two so it's set to come back i believe after the demon Slayer movie and um yeah we're gonna announce them then but at the end of the day i believe that's where they're gonna i believe that's where the game is gonna take place it's just that general story so uh 
you know, again, if it's gonna be a story title, I believe the game it should be it should be priced at forty bucks in my opinion. That'd be a good price. I believe that'll work out for Demon Slayer, and um, it'll be more enticing for people. And then, they guys, all I can say right now is I do see a PS5 version of this game coming out. Uh, it's just I feel like I know some people might have a complaint with the meaning that oh, you know, if I have a PS5 and I buy the PS4 version. You know, would it make sense? Or but and then they, there's gonna be people. So guys, here's the reason why it might be confusing the way I'm saying it. So there'll be people that will have the PS4, and the people who buy for the PS4, they'll buy for the PS4 console, not for the PS5. And then when they're ready to upgrade to the PS5, they'll just use their PS4 copy they have. Now, if you own a PS5, just the PS5 only, you sold your PS4, or you just got into PS5, there'll be a version, there'll be a Demon Slayer PS5 game. So you'll be able to play it on PS5. You you can buy the PS5 copy of the game. So that's pretty much how it's going to work. I believe that's how it will be, where it'll be a PS5 version for PS5, and it'll be a PS4 version for PS4. And if you are going to move up to PS5, you'll be able to pretty much use your, uh, what is it, your PS4 copy on the PS5, meaning that you won't really need to buy it again. You already have the PS4 version. Uh, I hope they have an update where it'll be able to enhance. If not, it'll just be, it'll just be the same you had it. You'll just be able to play it just like how it is on the PS4. But at the end of the day, I just kind of do hope that uh, it is working the way I'm. So I believe that that's how that's how it's gonna work. So if you have a PS4 and you're going, you know what? I'm gonna wait for the PS5. I'm not gonna buy it now. I'm just gonna buy it for the PS4. So you buy it for the PS4 and you enjoy it. Say if you are somebody who bought a PS5, then you're gonna, you're gonna either end up buying the PS5 version. So you'll have the PS5 version, and that'll be that. And then say if you want to upgrade to the PS5, you'll be you'll be able to use your PS4 version of Demon Slayer and just play it on the PS5. I'm assuming there will be an update. Hopefully there will be. Like I said, guys, we're waiting for more news in this game. I don't have that much news because there hasn't been that much on the game right now. But at the end of the day, I believe we'll be getting some very soon, probably in May. I believe there'll be some news on it in May. Don't quote me on that. But because since there'll be a PS5 reveal, there's a rumor of a PS5 reveal event in May. So I believe they might show off this game as well because it's a PS5 game too. And it's an, and it's an exclusive. So um, that would work out. But if not, May possibly off of v-jump because uh that's where we got the game first was off of v-jump but either way uh i can't wait to see more about this game let me know down below what you got what your guys thoughts are on this also let me know will you be copying a ps5 day one i would i really do want to know that if you guys are gonna be buying a, a next gen system day one uh let me know down below and also will you begin the demon Slayer game when it comes out let me know down below i'll see you guys next time peace guys also one more thing guys if you are new to this channel please do hit that subscribe button because it does show uh, that you are enjoying the content and plus we're just going into we're trying to grow the community as much as we can also it really shows me you enjoy the videos also if you could like the videos too because that also shows me you enjoy the videos as well uh it just shows that you know i'm doing something right but at the end of the day i hope you guys do have a good day and i'll see you guys next time oh and one more thing i keep forgetting can we get a like goal on this i if we can can we hit 10 likes as a like goal i've been doing i'm not growing any more higher than that i, I for now i'm gonna do 10 I might do 20 but at the end of the day i want to do 10 i know we can break it but at the end of the day i just want to see if we can hit 10 likes Either way, I'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys.